Do you have trouble consistently holding tight tolerances on certain parts? One method to consistently hold tolerances throughout the day is to require operators to take measurements and adjust tool offsets frequently. However, some may find that this increases cycle time an unacceptable amount. If you have a Renishaw spindle probe on your machine tool, you can use it to automatically measure every part during production and adjust tool offsets as needed. This allows for more unattended machining and decreases the amount of parts that must be scrapped. Let's go over how your program should be structured to accomplish this task. First, the machine cuts the feature. Then, the probe measures the feature. If the feature is in tolerance, the machine continues on to the next operation. If the feature is out of tolerance by least material condition, meaning oversized for a bore or undersized for a boss, too much material has been removed. And since material cannot be added on with the typical machine tool, the part cannot be fixed. The machine should then stop and reject this part. If the feature is out of tolerance by most material condition, meaning undersized for bore or oversized for a boss, not enough material has been removed, so the cycle can be run again with an updated tool offset to remove more material. After the recut, the probe will measure the feature again to verify it is now in tolerance. Now, let's take a look at the actual G-code program. This program is for the analysis of a 1.20 bore located at G54 X0 Y0 with Z0 located on the top surface. First, we use tool 14 to cut the 1.20 bore. Note that we have a line number before the tool change so that we can easily return to this section of the program for the recut. Now it's time to measure. This machine uses tool 25 for the probe so we will call it to the machine. We then make our work and tool offsets active with G54 and G43. We then turn the probe on with the G65P9832 command. Using the protected probe positioning command, G65P9810, we move to X0, Y0, and then Z negative 0.5 half an inch inside the bore. Once we are inside the bore, we use the diameter measure command G65P9814 with a decode of 1.20 to tell the program we are measuring a hole with nominal diameter 1.20. After the measurement, we then move out of the hole to Z1.0, turn the probe off with G65 P9833, and zero return the machine in Z. By looking at the table of variable outputs for Renishaw software, we can see that after a diameter measurement cycle is completed, the measured size of the diameter is output into variable pound 138. We will then save the value of pound 138 to pound 100 for our analysis. Let's assume that for our bore of diameter 1.20, we have a tolerance of plus or minus 5 thou. Therefore, anything between 1.195 and 1.205 should be accepted. Because this is a bore, any diameter greater than 1.205 has had too much material removed and must be rejected. Any diameter less than 1.195 has had too little material removed and could be recut to meet the tolerance. Let's take a look at the G code that will accomplish this for us. We first have one if statement, which will see if the measured diameter was greater than 1.205. If it is greater, then this if statement is true, and the program will then go to line 10. Jumping down to line 10, we see that this will go to the command for a macro alarm, which will stop the machine in alarm mode and display the alarm message in the comment. 
If the diameter is not greater than 1.205, this if statement is false, and the program will continue to the next line, which is another if statement. This if statement checks to see if the diameter is less than 1.195. If it is smaller, then this if statement is true, and the program will then go to line 20. Jumping down to line 20, we reach this line of code that will add the measured error to the radius geometry for tool 14. We will explain this line in further detail later. After the tool offset adjustment, we reach go to 1, which will jump the program back to line 1, which will run tool 14 again with the new offset. If both of these if statements are false, we did not reach the go to 10 or the go to 20. So we are now at this line at the end, go to 30. Now if both if statements were false, the feature was not oversized and also not undersized. Therefore, it must be intolerance. The go to 30 will bring us to line 30, skipping over all of the potential actions for an out of tolerance part and continues on to the next operation. Let's explain further how the tool offset adjustment is made. Pound bracket 2400 plus 14 close bracket represents the radius geometry value for tool 14. When we add the error to the radius geometry value, we must account for the value that is already there. The right side of the equation is done first, so this code will load the current value for radius geometry here. Subtract the measured error, and then load this new value into the radius geometry for tool 14. Whether the error should be added or subtracted from the current offset depends on whether you are inside or outside cutting, climb or conventional milling, and whether you are using G41 or G42, so be sure to verify that you have chosen the correct sign. Because this machine uses radius geometry, and our error is the error in the diameter, we must divide our error by 2 to get the correct compensation. To clarify the value representing the radius geometry value, it consists of what is called the base number for radius geometry and the tool number in question. Taking the base number of the table you want to edit and adding it to the tool number of interest will give the variable where that value is stored, allowing you to edit it in the middle of a program. Here is a table showing typical base numbers or tool offsets of FANUC, Mitsubishi, and Haas controls. For FANUC controls, it is important to note that while these are the most typical base numbers, these may vary depending on various system parameters. Consult Chapter 16 of the FANUC Operation Manual for further information. Now that you understand the basic principles of writing a program to automatically measure features and take action based on the results, the possibilities are endless. You are not constrained to only updating tool offsets as discussed in this video. These same concepts can be used to automatically adjust work offsets or switch to a backup when a tool is worn or broken. If you have further questions on Renishaw Probe programming, please contact us at automatedmfg.com.